Ricky Winfler is the number one ranked player in his home state of North Dakota. He grew up in the small town of Belcourt with a population of just above 1,000 people. The 7 foot 400 pound quarterback is seen as baby Jesus in the small town and it's easy to see why. He can throw the ball further than Uncle Rico and is faster than a gazelle. For his senior season, he's hoping to become a national recruit and boost up the rankings to number one in the country. His first game of his senior season against Fargo in the first home game of the season. On a second and two, Ricky drops back. He rolls out to his right man. Ricky's a fast boy. He gets the first down as he creates a seismic wave getting tackled to the turf second and goal now ricky snaps the ball rolls out to his right looks like we have the tight end we do for a touchdown beautiful jab ricky now up seven with ball it's a third and eight ricky gets the snap don't think anyone is open maybe r1 and yeah yikes that's a bad ricky's first interception of the senior season that was just not good tight end seven seven we're at the goal line ricky rolls out to extend the play we're looking downfield i think we have circle and we do touchdown bell cork good throw ricky 14 10 in the third quarter we're doing a triple option we fake it this is a Keeper as Ricky takes off. Can we get a touchdown? Oh, we got cut. Dang it, dude. 17 10 now as Ricky drops back. Looking at R1. We have R1. Nice touch pass, baby. Up 17. We're trying to put the nail in the coffin. Ricky gets the snap. He's faking it. Looks like a keeper. Ricky takes it from what is a great block right there from Timmy. And no one's going to catch Ricky. That's a touchdown. Game over. Ricky balled out and showed his true dual threat ability, even as a 7 foot 400 pound quarterback, as we went 41 to 10 in the first game of the season. For the second game of the season, we're at the goal line in our patented option formation as Ricky snaps it and it's a gift to the running back. Touchdown, Belcourt. Ricky with the assist there. Up seven in the early second quarter. We take the snap. Ricky's looking for a receiver while rolling out. I think we got our one. That's Gio. What a dart. You ain't gonna catch Gio, baby. Touchdown. It's now 21 nothing in the third at the goal line. We snap it. Ricky wants to what? He's a peacock. You just gotta let him. Fly. Let's go. Touchdown, Belcourt. Another blowout win for the second game of the senior season for Ricky. As we finally earn our second star heading into week three. Playing 2-0 Dickinson, we face a third in inches as Ricky fakes the handoff and the semi-truck is on the move. You're not going to catch Ricky. That's a touchdown. Next drive, Ricky rolls out. Looks downfield, launch it, Ricky. Launch it, baby. And we do beautiful throw to nine. That's going to be a touchdown. I know you say his name, but Ricky showing off his immense potential with the pigskin. Not going to lie, this formation is very funky. Don't think Ricky's a fan of it as we take the hand up. And yeah, when Ricky sees a path, he's going to stampede through it for a touchdown. Good luck tackling Big Rick. Third goal before half, trying to put this game out of reach. Ricky snaps it, scrambling per usual. He's a fast boy. Couple little kids in pads don't scare him. And we throw it dot to our great friend, Gio. We cruise to a 35 to 3 win to move to 3. Three and L. Oh, wow. I think we might have found Ricky's dad. Second and goal. Ricky takes the snap, drops back, rolls to his right a tad bit, and hits the open receiver for a 7 0 lead. Now up 14 in a second. Ricky commanding the offense as we snap it, roll out to the right with those big hind lanes, and Ricky takes it for a touchdown. Good job, Rick. Now 21 3. The Beluga Whale drops back, roll it to his right, looking downfield. Nothing's there. Beluga Whale takes off to get it in for the touchdown. Good job, Ricky. Ricky dominates again as we pull out Grand Forks 42 3 to move to 4 0 on the season. Yay, Ricky! Gets his first college offer from BYU, home of the Christians, and it appears Ricky is officially a three-star, slowly climbing up the rankings head into week five. We're down 21-7 in the fourth. I think the third star got to Ricky's head. He hasn't played well, but we snapped the ball, rolled to our left, and the big man is too fast. Touchdown, Ricky. Trying to tie this bad boy up. Ricky snaps and looks downfield, looking for the corner, and we have it. Touchdown to Geo to tie the game. With less than 30 seconds left, Ricky's clutch gene is needed here as the big man rolls to his right. Low throw to circle, but we get the first down. Then second and goal in the funky formation. Ricky snaps it, hands it the running back. Get in there, click, and he does to get a 28 to 21 lead. It wasn't a pretty win, but Ricky showed his comeback ability as we get a scholarship from Utah and Minnesota. Week six gets Botané. Sounds like a French wine. Ricky looking for a receiver and he hits his best friend Gio to get out to a 7 nothing lead back in the wanky danky formation Ricky fakes it to the running back and keeks it oh my gosh he has a lane Ricky fast cougar he ain't gonna catch him let's go <laughs> get that Ricky up 21 trying to extend the lead before half Ricky under center takes the snap surveys rolls to his right and finds Maurice that's a new guy good to see Ricky making new friends we pounded the wine school 35 to 7 and keep the undefeated season alive as it appears Ricky also earns his fourth star looking to get in the top 156 Soon. Week 7 is a game against Langdon, who sucks. Ricky looking downfield for the nuclear. He has the nuke! Geo is open, and Ricky hits him in stride as we jump out to a 7-0 lead. Up 21-7 in the second quarter. Ricky under center, drops back, rolls out looking for X, and he hits X. Woo-wee! Ricky is sexy throw, Bobby. 28-7 before half in the patented option formation. Ricky spins.
spins around looking like a ballerina for the end zone. Fight their attackers and the gazelle who had intercourse with an elephant. Ricky is in the end zone. We punished Langdon 56-7. Our defense must be as good as plan B. No one can score on us, it seems. Wowzers! Ricky's a happy boy today. He's going to treat himself to a couple buffets tonight as we get a scholarship offer to Alabama, Incest, and Texas. And would you look at that? Big Rick is in the top 150. Sin at 106, just gliding up the rankings. Down three in the second quarter. Ricky under center, hikes the ball, looking for X. We hit X and how? Waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, Belcourt. Up 7-3 in the second half. Ricky fakes the handoff. Big man patrols the pocket, then rolls out. Circle, circle, circle. Ricky hit a big K. Let's go. And he does. What a throw from Ricky. Let's go. Now 23-5 in the third. Ricky takes the snap. Instantly rolls out. Doesn't see an open receiver. Decides taking it for himself for the touchdown. Good job, Rick. We end up cruising to a 37-12 win to continue our undefeated season. Now 8-0. Ricky is finally in the top 100. Now sitting at 85 before our week 9 game against Ellendale. First drive of the game, Big Rick drops back, gets scared, runs around the defender, and throws a no-no to the def Dang it, Ricky. Come on, buddy. Down 10 nothing in the second. At the goal line, we need a score here as Ricky snaps the ball, fakes it, then keeps it for a touchdown to cut the deficit to three points. Good job, Rick. Before I have with a chance to take the lead, we're going four verticals. Ricky looks downfield, keeps dropping back, then finds triangle and throws it on a rope. Out of way, Ricky. Beautiful throw. Now 21-10 in the fourth with a chance to blow this game open at the goal line. Ricky takes the snap, sits in the pocket like a good boy, finds no one. He rolls out, still waiting. A circle gets over for the touchdown. Ricky showing his ability to improv constantly this season. We murdered 7-1 Ellendale, 42-10, and moved to 8-0 in the year, headed to the state playoffs. Up 7-0, Ricky under center, and he fakes to the running back, ends up keeping it, and the big gazelle is in the end zone. 14-10 in the third, Hazen trying to spoil Ricky's state title hopes as he drops back on a third and 28, looking downfield, being patient, looking for circle, and we hit him as Theon. Again, man, his name is odd. Walks to the end zone to extend our lead. In the fourth quarter, up 18, under center, big Rick looking downfield. Nice check down to his friend, Ian Wolfman, as he plows through a defender for a touchdown. Good job. How? We pull away from Hazen, 35-10, to 10, to win our first playoff game with three more to go. It appears Ricky is now number 22 in the nation as we head to the second round of our state playoffs. Our second playoff game has us travel on the road to Bismarck. No clue how we're the way team, but Ricky thrives in the underdog role. Tied at zero in the second quarter, Ricky leading the offense. We fake the handoff. Off, look downfield and we hit trying to our best friend Gio to jump out to a 7-0 lead. Up 6-0 because our kickers are school janitor due to limited students at our school, obviously. Ricky drops back, rolls to his left, looking downfield. I think he has a touch on R1 and he does! Let's go, Gio! Up 20 near the goal line. Ricky wants to put this one away and he snaps it as the post runs wide open and Ricky hits Glick for the touchdown. Out of way to Rick. We will Smith Bismarck 48-0 to, to move on to the semifinals of the state playoffs. Looks like the thingy at the top right went away, so I'm assuming Ricky is finally the number one recruit in the nation with one goal still remaining to get our small town Belcourt a state title. Looks like we're playing Langdon again, but somehow now they're undefeated. Maybe this is their doppelganger school. That's actually good at football. Either way, Ricky fears no man. Down 7-0 as Langdon is looking competent, actually. Ricky fakes the handoff, looking for Wise Becker, and he has him. He walks to the end, so to tie the game, 7-7. Now 21-7, Ricky is playing possessed this game. He drops back, strolls to his light, looking for X. As Weisbecker settles down, and we hit him for a touchdown to take a commanding 28-7 lead. We look unstoppable with our plan B defense and explosive offense with a 35-7 win, and we move on to the state championship. Appears we face off against the French wine again, this time for all the marbles. Don't think Ricky is happy being a North Dakota kid playing in Minnesota for the state title, but that doesn't sway his focus from winning that state title. Like his idol, Uncle Rico, never could. Tied zero under center. Ricky looks to his right as Gio bounces up the field. We hit him to take a 7 0 lead. Out of way, Gio. Next offensive drive, we're faced with the fourth and inches. Ricky under center drops back, throws to someone who isn't open at all, but Theod makes a play and he's going to sprint in the end zone to take a two score lead. 21 0 in the late second quarter. We're at the goal line. Ricky Ricky has been balling out as he snaps the ball, drops back, rolls to his right, and you ain't gonna catch him in his 4140 speed touchdown bell court. We end up dominating the French wine. 48-7, and Ricky played his best game of the season with over 500 passing yards, showing he can play the best on the biggest stage. Now the unanimous number one high school recruit, the North Dakota Baby Jesus Prodigy, faces a tough college decision. Ever wonder what would happen if Alabama only recruited three-star players? If so, click the video on the screen. I'm sure you'll love it.